Welcome to the Head to Head Challenge. Today we are in Rotterdam with People Minded Media. This studio is today the place to be for the finalists of Miss World Netherlands 2023-24. The Head to Head Challenge is to test the skills of interviewing and the knowledge of the young girls. So if you want to see all about them, we have Team Orange, White, Blue and Red. Of course, these are also the colors representing the Netherlands. Are you ready to face them? Hi allemaal, mijn naam is Olomi Nelemans. Ik ben 21 jaar oud en ik kom uit Purmerend. In mijn vrije tijd vind ik het leuk om te zingen en met kinderen om te gaan. Ik wens iedereen heel veel succes. Hallo iedereen, mijn naam is Janfi. Ik ben 20 jaar. Ik kom uit Haarlem en mijn hobby's zijn dansen en koken. En ik wens iedereen heel veel succes. Hey, mijn naam is Laura. Ik ben 20 jaar en ik kom uit Utrecht. Ik vind het leuk om te zingen, acteren en te presenteren. Ik wens alle meiden van Miss World Nederland 2023 heel veel succes. Doei doeg! Hi you there, you're back. And we are also back with Team White. We just saw them in the introduction and here they are, Romy, Janvi and Laura. So tell me something about, in short, about Beauty with a Purpose, Romy. About my beauty with a purpose? Yes, please so. Well, my beauty with a purpose is veganism, SDG 15, life on land. Uh, why I choose veganism? Because I'm a vegetarian myself. I love animals, a uh, huge animal lover, of course. Um, and I care about the well-being of the animals. The How they are getting slaughtered and everything is horrible. And that's why I'm doing my beauty with a purpose of veganism, to save the animals. Very nice, thank you so much, Gen V. My beauty with a purpose is um, uh, mental health uh, for child abuse because uh, I know how it is and uh, I just want to uh, make uh, awareness for people how bad uh, mental health illness is. Thank you so much, Laura. Hello, uh, yeah, my beauty with a purpose is mental health. Uh, I'm a little nervous <laughs> right now <laughs> um, because, um, yeah, uh, four years ago um, I'm sitting uh, on four schools and that was so, um, yeah. Confronting. Yeah, yeah, and um, I want an inspiration for young people and I believe that, um, believe in your dreams and believe you can do it and it's okay that... You're sad, it's okay, cry. And um, yeah, th that's my beauty with a purpose. And that is why yeah, I'm sitting here with these ladies. And, yeah. yeah, Lara came a long way, ladies and gentlemen. They don't know the whole background, but they will once we get out with the Beauty with a Purpose projects, because as the audience already know, you all set up an own Beauty with a Purpose. So very nice and very well done. You did a lot of work till today and keep on going with the good work, of course. And then you got a list with all those amazing women. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 yeah. Ooh. 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 So yeah, it was a long <laughs> list. But what did you learn out of the list? Um, now, uh, yeah, just uh, do your thing and believe in yourself. And it's uh, it's a lot of wo uh, mo women that um, yeah inspiring or? yeah yeah it's a power woman um, because um, the 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 queen of uh, het Romeinse Rijk um, yeah who is she that <laughs> it doesn't Roman. matter just um, keep on going yeah and um, uh, yeah what we what we learned is uh, a lot of women from this list what what we learned is um, um, say they always said like yeah. chase your dreams. Yeah, yes. in every article that we uh, wrote, uh, read was uh, they were chasing their dream and they made it. And that's what I, that's I think the yeah. the yeah the most important thing that we learned is chase your dreams. You can do it. No matter if you're like young, old, uh, a man or a woman, doesn't matter. You if you want it, you can do it. Yes, and I'm going to pick one out of those lists. <laughs> 
And that's going to be Zenobia. Yeah. It's so nice to say that Zenobia. It's <laughs> almost like an island. Zenobia. But tell me yeah. about Zenobia. Who was she? What did she do? Where is she coming from? Okay. I, okay. Yeah, Zenobia, um, it was uh, early 53 um, for Christus. And uh, what I've learned from Zenobia is that uh, Zenobia, uh, it was a woman, a power woman uh, in this time. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> there was something special going on between her and her son. Uh, yeah. Tell me, Laura. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, the silence, it means that yeah. they think Ooh. about the English words, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> because it's not easy. We are from the Netherlands, we speak Dutch. And English can be a little bit confronting and difficult, but tell me. They yeah. went together as queen and king, and she did that with her son. So what did she do? She was also one of, um, if I'm right, she was also in the military. Mm -hmm. um, that thing that I remembered. I don't know if she was one of the first women in the military. That's why I don't remember that good, but I knew she was in the military. Mm, and yeah. back then, in the, in the time, like the 1300s, it was a really big thing for women to be in the military. Okay. So she has her past in military, right? So if you take that and you put it into this century, is it still the same? Is it still that special to be in military? No, I don't. As a woman. As a woman. Mm. Mm. It's more it's still common. changing. Yeah, it's, it is it's more, more common because you hear a lot of women that saying like, yeah, I'm going into the military. And you're like, oh my God, that's so nice. And uh, because you are a woman. So if you, if you as a woman tell people you are in the military, they're still going to think of, oh, a girl in the military. But for the women itself, it's like a really big thing. You know, it, we love, uh, they love to do it. So changing their dream. Their dream. Okay. And we have another one, it's Nevertiti. Yeah. Also yeah. such a nice name, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nevertiti. 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 Tell me, <laughs> who uh, is she? She was an Egypt uh, queen and she was uh, known for beauty and uh, influence uh, throughout uh, the 14th century, um, before uh, the common area. And she was also married to uh, Pharaoh Akhenaten. And yeah, and um, what I read, uh, she has uh, a son, but how do you say it in English? She had a DNA test gedaan, DNA uh, test. DNA test. And um, Tutankhamun, uh, that was not her son, through the DNA test. Um, that was I read uh, from. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember it. Yeah. yeah. That was last. Uh, last time was that. Uh, Hoe zeg dat bekend gemaakt? Um, announced. announced. Ja, announced. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is the most inspiring about do those two ladies for you? What did you learn about this? No, they never gave up. So, um, probably we, when they struggled, they just did it in another way, in another way, and figured out something. <coughs> okay, something to add uh, about these items, those women? Someone else out of the list that you thought, okay, this woman really amazed me. She's from now on my example. Yeah, I have one woman uh, on the list and she was, um, yeah, I hope yeah, I hope that I uh, that we have this woman from you. Uh, <laughs> now, what was her name? Um, she was uh, a singer, actress. Um, what was her name? Uh, nah, she. Um, I think you mean I Regina Wolf. Yeah, Regina Wolf. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, yeah. I like to sing and dance and acting and yeah. Yeah, 
I so think she's that's your, my answer to your question. Your sor yeah. source of inspiration to continue and hope that you can be uh, as famous as she was at that time. Yeah, I, yeah, I like to sing, and and she is, yeah, she follow her dream, and that that yeah, okay. that's amazing. Yeah. And for you, uh, I think Budika. Uh, she was just a power woman, and. Um, I believe she was also raped. Yes. And, uh, also, she had children's two daughters, I believe, and one son. So, yeah, um, it just inspires me to keep going. Okay, thank you, Romy. You have someone? Yeah. If I'm right, I don't. I don't. I also don't remember the name anymore. But describe her. Uh, she was the first woman that described the the that invented the birth control for the ladies. I don't know, Aleta Jacobs. Yes, yeah, right? indeed. Yeah. Um, I already knew like a little things about her because the street next to me in my town is Aleta Jacobs oh. street. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I knew a little bit <laughs> about it. Um, yeah, she, wa she did a lot of things for the women, like the birth control. That thing was really inspiring me because we live for that, you know? It's like the most important thing for the women to have. So that's why she's one of the most inspiring women for me. Okay. Were you happy with the list? No. Because it's there were many. No. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> my my no. English is not good, and uh, yeah, I was very nervous, and it it it's so Me too. Me too. a lot of uh, women because we are sitting here with uh, yeah. <laughs> with three, yeah, <laughs> with each other. This <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, but, but those are women that really changed our future. Yeah, they meant something for us because women today. We coming from somewhere, you know, and they did a lot. They, uh, yeah, they did a lot to to improve our lives nowadays. So that's yeah. why I gave you the list with all those women, yeah. <laughs> and I hope you learned okay. something from it. Yeah, but you did, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, next subject is tourism and culture, and I think you see it a little bit. Tourism and culture. <laughs> we are known for the. Sorry. We are known for what? Tulips. What else? <laughs> yeah. Wooden uh, shoes. <laughs> what else? The windmills. Yes. Yes, and the blue. Dell's blue. Dell's blue. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Dell's and please here. stand up because I think there's something more on the back or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, show it to the audience. <laughs> so how can you create the staff, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. So tell me something about the Netherlands and the culture and the tourism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, now, uh, Amsterdam is the uh, what is it again? Capital. Capital city. Yeah, yeah, from the Netherlands, and um, yeah, yeah. Um, what is so special yeah. about Amsterdam? Tell me, Rome. Amsterdam, uh, the houses especially. All the tourists that come there are like, oh my god, look at the Amsterdam houses. Oh, look, that house is like crooked or something. Oh, and the candles are like... The candles. The candles are also like really inspiring for the tourist, uh, tourists. Yeah. Uh, what the, else? The, the boat. Uh, on the, the candle boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> candle boats. Every tourist that comes in Amsterdam does them. Everybody. I also did it last week. Oh, really? With my boyfriend. With your boyfriend from yeah. Italy, of exactly. course. She just has a new boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. From and Italy? Yeah. yeah. yeah so. and, and in Gouda, um, you have uh, a lot of shops with uh, cheese. Uh, oh, Gouda cheese. Yeah, yeah. Gouda. walking on the street and uh, cheese, cheese, cheese. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. So it's not for the pictures no. to eat <laughs> yeah. the cheese? Yeah, cheese. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, the, I wrote like, uh, a couple of weeks ago, that the tulips and the windmills are the number one attraction for the tourists. Indeed. Tourists. Yeah. Yes, indeed. But the tulips are amazing. They're so colorful and they're so happy. Yeah, I understand why tourists they like them. Yes, you yeah. do. And especially on the Saanse Schans. Yes, yeah. Saanse yeah. Schans, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, in Utrecht, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you have the Dom. The Dom Tor, yeah, yes. The Dom Tor. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Rotterdam, we are in Rotterdam are today, Rotterdam. so yeah. we are known for number one uh, port. Yeah. Rotterdam. Yeah, and yeah. you have a bridge on the Erasmus Bridge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there's a lot of things to see and to do in the Netherlands. Yeah. If you have to pick something and you have to do a tour with the tourists or take the audience on a tour, where should you bring them? Ooh. I would choose or Amsterdam or Haarlem. Haarlem? Yeah. Oh, that's a new one. Why Haarlem? I was born there. Oh, you're born <laughs> there? <laughs> okay, no, so my, that's my, a good one. Also. But what no. can you see there? Uh, you have like this really big square with the church in the middle. Yes. I, I can't remember the name of it anymore. But you also have a nice brewery there. A nice what? Brewery to drink beer. Oh, Heineken. Oh, yeah. No, not yeah. Heineken. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Heineken, it's yes. a brewery. We don't make any uh, advertisements for Sorry. beer, Mark, <laughs> but there <laughs> is one. Just look it up. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. It's something Sorry. with an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> something, like that. something like that. Just look it up. Okay, and you, well, Jan? For me, also Amsterdam and Harlem. Because, uh, yeah, I you live there. in Harlem. Yeah, <laughs> and I go, I'm go. i going to Amsterdam to live there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think uh, Utrecht. I live in Utrecht, and um, yeah, and um, yeah, I think uh, Hilversum because uh, that was my first time that I'm uh, standing on a on a podium, on stage. yeah, on the stage, and yeah, I never forget that. That, that was. Yeah, for Dutch nice. people, Hilversum is very important because there you have the media and everything. Yeah, media Park. Media uh, Park, city. yes. Yeah. So I, I understand that you say Hilversum. So for the audience, mm -hmm. Hilversum is important if you want to go on stage and try to become famous in the Netherlands. That's the place to be a little bit, right? Toch, yeah. Laura? <laughs> It's the broad way of the Netherlands. The yeah. broad way of the yeah. Netherlands. That's a good <laughs> description, Romy. Yeah. Okay, so one final question for the three of you. What mes message would you like to bring to the audience and the rest of the world? Ooh. Just be do kind we, to each other. Like all together? We need yeah, to you can do it one by one and then oh. add something or mm. just your own vision, your own message. Do what you do, want to do. Don't yeah. let other people yeah. influence you. I had a lot of experience with that in the past. People always like, oh, no, don't do that, do that. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'm going to do what I want. It's my second time here and because I Indeed. want it. Yes. So, yeah. Yes, we have a lot of people coming back. So <laughs> that's a good, uh, good sign for us, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah just be kind and um, also what you said. No. Yeah, um, I think we are, we are so young and now we stand on the final on Miss World Netherlands and yeah, just believe in it. In yeah, that, that's amazing, and that's a chance that yeah, that's wonderful. And I think that um, uh, what you said and Romy said, uh, believe in your dreams and and go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, and never let anyone stop you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And one thing, why didn't you mention the museums in Amsterdam? And oh. we have so <laughs> many yeah. nice yeah. hot yeah. spots yeah. to <laughs> see. <laughs> Yeah, but I can say, oh um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my God. Yeah. I totally forgot about it. Uh, yeah. Um, what is the must-see? The must-see. Come on, Laura, now. Nou, uh, hoe zeg je het in het Engels? A spoorwegmuseum. Spoorwegmuseum. Ja. Yeah. Um, that's a nice question. Yeah, spoorwegmuseum. Spoorwegmuseum. Ja. Yeah. Spoorwegmuseum. Romy? Ja, ja. Only the museums? Yes. Mm. I think I really like the Rijksmuseum. Rijksmuseum, yeah. very yeah, nice yeah. one. Yeah, I love it. Also Rijksmuseum, the yes. Yeah, yeah and uh, you have a museum in Amsterdam that uh, Body World. Uh, oh, I also 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 nice. Yeah. Nice. Ah, that one I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can tell me all about it after. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, those three girls, Team White, they need your support. Go and vote for them, Laura, Janvi, or Romy. Within two days, we will know who the winner of this team is. Stay tuned, because we are back with Blue Team in the end. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the teams. They are amazing. Didn't you find the same? Now it's up to you. You have to vote on one of each team. The winner of each team will be facing each other the 24th of October. And there, they will do the final test and there we will find out who the winner is 
of the Head to Head Challenge. So, ladies and gentlemen, now we need you to get your votes done. Under the, the videos, you can put your vote by putting the name of the finalist and then we will count who will be the winner of the Head to Head Challenge. So, ladies and gentlemen, now it's up to you. Thank you.